Ahead of the Quad meeting, USNSA Jake Sullivan has said that India should step up and support the principles of sovereignty and territorial integrity, and this statement comes after White House officials held a meeting with Khalistani separatists. The DRDO chief has said that the DRDO is pushing the case with Indian Navy to place orders for 10 naval Tejas aircraft in the current role for training, and reports indicate that the Navy wants the TED BF project to take off in full flow, before taking the final call on the naval Tejas aircraft. The Indian government has appointed Air Marshal Amar Preet Singh as the next chief of the air staff. The navies of India and France concluded Varuna joint naval exercise, in which France participated with Barracuda nuclear attack submarine, that has been offered to the Indian Navy. According to a media report, India had declined a request from Israel for the supply of Indian-made 155mm and 105mm artillery shells last year. India is exploring the role of 3D printing in the manufacturing of very short-range air defense systems and anti-tank guided missiles. Indian firm Ignata Holographic Private Limited has become the first in India to manufacture holographic weapon sight systems, that are compatible with various rifles including Sig Sayer and AK-47. In a significant development, ahead of India and France strategic dialogue on 30th September, the Emmanuel Macron government has expressed readiness to discuss and support the construction of nuclear attack submarines for India, and offer 100% transfer of technology for the 110 kN jet engine and underwater drones with full capabilities to India. The DRDO has started development of a new fuel tank for the hypersonic cruise missile, that will be far superior to existing systems, allowing for a longer range and potentially higher operational efficiency. The DRDO has already began fabrication of the cruise vehicle for the hypersonic missile, and this upcoming test will involve a full-fledged hypersonic cruise missile prototype. The DRDO is developing two variants, and the first variant will be a surface-to-surface -surface missile with a projected range of 2,500 km that could potentially enter service as early as 2025, while the second will be a compact 700 km range air-launched variant with speeds up to Mach 10. The Aeronautical Development Agency has issued an expression of interest inviting Indian private firms to participate in the manufacturing of structural assemblies for various aircraft, including the Tejas Mark II AMCA and twin-engine deck-based fighter. The move to involve Indian private companies is aimed at speeding up production and ensuring a more efficient and scalable manufacturing process, and also enhance the delivery timelines and overall quality of the aircraft. India's Astra Mark I missile has garnered interest from several Su-30 operators like Vietnam, Armenia, Indonesia and Malaysia. However, integrating the Astra Mark I on their Su-30 variants has presented a complex challenge, as different Su-30 variants comes with its own specific radar and mission computer systems. For a successful integration, India would need either access to Russia's proprietary technology, that would require complex negotiations and potential licensing agreements, while another option is to replace the existing mission computers and radars, that would be a costly and time-consuming endeavor for the operators. Today's Top 3 Comments